get into this whole uh Donald Trump situation that just happened a couple of days ago that is, you know, obviously the talk of not even just the town, it's the talk of the world essentially. Yeah, um yeah, it's uh been pretty crazy. <laughs> 2024 is who would have thought 2024 is really is probably one of the craziest years and we're not even done. We're we're not even done yet. We it, it's we're like half Somebody we said do half, we have to Yeah, we we need to talk about it, man. You know, and we're not going to get too political here because that's not the you know the aim of what we want to talk about but it's more so the fact of what's being reported and what narratives are trying to be pushed now so for you know if you live under a rock you have to live under a very huge rock uh president well former trump president. <laughs> former former president but he may end up being president former president trump uh was at a rally you know, he's he's doing what he does at his rally, you know, getting people roused up or whatnot. And apparently there was a young man by the name of Thomas Matthew Cooks mm-hmm. uh, decided to, you know, take fire at the at the president using uh, these are reports, an AR-15 uh, rifle. And it's crazy because. They, I don't know if you've seen this. They've been showing clips like on Twitter and like visual, like 3D imaging. I don't know how they're doing it. Yeah. Where because Trump turned his head at like a certain angle at the last second, that's how he only ended up getting clipped in his ear. Yeah, I seen that. If if he would have just kept his head there, then potentially the bullet would have went just straight through the side of his uh of his skull and he most likely probably would have died so obviously that ended up happening every you know shots were being wrong off people ducking and diving Mm -hmm. and what came out of this obviously is uh uh an image that will you know they'll probably put in textbooks many years from now. Oh, the, the fist in the air, secret the fist service in the around air, them. The secret got the, around got the them. U.S. flag behind him, and there's blood just on his face, and he's looking triumphant as he got up, and he's you know he's you know it's like yeah you know the people behind him they all like oh yeah 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 mm-hmm. fucking Trump you you can't stop Trump you know and to be honest with you that whole situation essentially made his campaign that much uh better and you know just optically like this guy yeah. legitimately was almost taken out and he was still got up and was still on some nah it's gonna take a lot more to take me out yeah and then apparently uh they end up uh, uh killing the uh the shooter the shooter and yeah they ended up killing the shooter and now the 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 narrative is being that he was once bullied in school. They're showing clips of him being Crazy. bullied in school. And I found another article before we started and, this. And rest in peace to the gentleman that, that was near Trump that uh yeah. was shot and killed. Uh-huh. Um, it's just one of these unfortunate situations, man. It it really sucks because no matter who you're voting for, you just really yeah. wish that it didn't take it didn't get to this, you know, level of heat and hate and, mm-hmm. you know, no, don't know what the gentleman was going through like Ross was uh, about to go through. Um, mm-hmm. But they are painting the whole, um, the story that he was bullied and picked on. I seen a clip um, about someone mm-hmm. saying that he was, he got kicked out or he didn't get on the, the rifle team <clears throat> or something like that. I don't know. Um, and just, I guess, one of the clips of somebody that went to school with him. And you know, mm-hmm. describing what kind of person what was was he? What was he like? A lot of them say he was a loner. Um, mm-hmm. You could tell he was one of those kids that they probably picked on um, and whatnot. But um, it's just unfortunate all the way around. Because then now politicians get to start blaming and pointing fingers and oh, trying yeah. to see what was he a registered Democrat or was he a registered uh, Republican? And then they start to try to create these stories, and it's just like ah, it's. Getting very dangerous. This is very, mm-hmm. very dangerous. I'm not going and 
And uh, apparently they recently, and I don't know how true this is, so you take everything we're saying here with a grain of salt, but apparently um, the uh, the gunman had recently searched on his phone the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. So it seems as if maybe it wouldn't just a one-stop shop, you know. And granted, once again, that could be just information that one side of the party is pushing out to yeah. make it seem as if, <laughs> Oh no, he was he was going he was going to try to Trying start to some shit up them. on on the other side. But mm -hmm. um, this is on the New York Post. So apparently, um, the would be <laughs> Donald Trump assassin Thomas uh, Crooks beca uh, became smug and arrogant in class whenever students talked politics and questioned why a classmate would support Trump, according to a former classmate. He just did not like politicians, especially the choices that we had," said Vincent. Uh, who went to high school with Crooks back in 2016 when uh, Trump, Hillary Clinton, and uh, Bernie Sanders were all in the presidential race. He did not like our politicians, and that's the story now that they're going with. He didn't like the politicians. So it, it goes back to, well, mm -hmm. if he was bullied and then he didn't like the politicians, at what point does it really correlate, I was bullied, and I was so frustrated. I'm not going to take it out on the people that bullied me and made fun of me and the people that were talking about politics. I think, you know, I'm, I'm going to take it out on the actual politicians years later. Yeah. That's kind of a, is this, that's a, I don't know if that's a reach because of some political views that you probably heard in school, which most people ain't really in high school. Most motherfuckers don't give a shit, shit about that. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> to take that extreme, all of a sudden now I I want to act on this and start taking out candidates. I don't know if I'm gonna go with the bullying route. Not saying that he wasn't, because clearly he probably was, but I don't know if that correlation lines up to the point of you bullied me. I already don't like our, our politicians. You know what? Fuck it. I'm I'm here with it. I'm about to I'm about to do something. That was a crash out mission. Yeah. Cause so, I don't know, lose, man. Lose. They would they wasn't finna let you not get packed up. Oh yeah, um, no, nah, it was yeah. Nah. They couldn't wait, man. That was like a, a a gazelle hopping in a lion's den. It's like what? Yeah, you know. Nah. So um, but again, like I said, bro, it just feels like it's it feels very dangerous around um yeah. voting. A lot of people are getting so heated about who they voting for, you know. And it's one of the things where y'all should be able to have the freedom to vote for whomever you want to vote for. And yeah. not feel scared about it or not feel like somebody's going to, you know, judge you in a very demonizing way just because you're voting for a certain particular party. I mean, yeah. it's, it's your choice. Everybody have their own reason. I always say we need to be looking at more of our state officials um, and who we're electing in our cities and local states, especially out here in Houston, because mm -hmm. as you see, we need to be working on this damn power grid. <laughs> in fact. You know, so we got bigger uh, fish to fry when it comes to the things that's closer to us. So. This is one of the things where it sucks, but that that definitely that picture I'm looking at it right now. I see it, man. Him with the fist up and the flag flying behind him. It just looks like it's gonna be in a textbook. That's gonna be the next cover, maybe in the next five years. Of oh yeah, the for US sure. History. Yeah, uh, this textbook. is this is history. He, he literally made history, and then come to find out, uh, Joe Biden just caught COVID again God today. Damn. So what's going on? I don't know, man. It's 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 really just a shit show at this point, man. To be honest with you, um, all you can do is just you know once again, like you said, condolences to uh, the families you know uh, involved and affected by this, and you know despite what you know where your allegiances go to, I'm never you know the one to just be okay because I've seen a lot of people okay with what went down, and it's like innocent people got hurt. You mm -hmm. feel me? And once you start, once your political views get so heated, and it's not even political views, you can take that with anything, shit. Yeah. You know, people get so invested into something Opinion that they, they lose that rationale of a human being was hurt. Oh, well, they shouldn't have been there because they were supporting this person. What? That's wild. And I'm what? Like, what part are you representing? When you start talking like that, you're just taking the human. You're, you're not even looking at things as a human human nature anymore now we just we're becoming the evil that we're trying to fight against whichever side that is but at yeah. the end of the day that's wild 
Think yeah. about that, bro. We getting to a point now where death ain't even it ain't even a shocker no more, man. You hear about certain people dying, you just like, damn. Yeah. Man, I wonder what I'm about to eat today. You know, it's like Yeah. People just roll on, you know, and it it really sucks, but I really, really do pray. So all I can do at this moment is just pray that we find some levels of solace, peace. Um yeah. we can come to some common ground. I said this mm-hmm. before in a previous reaction or live, whatever we was recording. Like, hey, we all technically want primarily the same thing: peace, happiness, love, and to be make sure the family's good. <clears throat> you know, so however we can kind of get find a common ground to get to that same goal, man, let's do it. Whichever party uh, is 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 malarkily on both sides. Like, no, mm-hmm. neither party is perfect, and that's just what it is. It's just what it you know. What the facts are at the end of the day, but you yep. gotta understand what's gonna work best for you, and vote and stop judging the next man for you know what that vote is. But it's getting dangerous, so prayers to everyone involved again, and hopefully yep. that this doesn't happen anymore. Um, because I you know hate to say it, but people do get influenced um mm-hmm. when certain things like this happen. So I do hope that this isn't a, a continuing factor of a situation. Um, you know, because mm-hmm. all it does is just it it ties in more crucial laws it, it just turn things start to get crazy when yep. certain narratives start to get pushed you and know people start believing those narratives yeah and people that's start, all that's all it takes scared everybody get armed everybody be on edge and on hinge and be ready to shoot first and ask questions later you know it's like <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying it, it gets like that when you start to have you know the chaos starts to this bitch is from Houston If you got a problem, then we got the solutions And there's no illusion I made this shit happen, I'm living life lucid I'm switching my strategies Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me